make something, and if she puts in puts the food she made in the copper plate, let's say chocolate. She put chocolate in the copper plate, then it'll multiply. Keep on multiplying, and then she, first she would give it to God, and then she would give it to the to her five husbands, which are the Pandavas. And then if she eats it, the um all the food will disappear, and she can make some more things like a salad, and then it'll multiply, and yeah. then you give it to God, and then no, once she finishes, then she can't. Um, <laughs> For that particular meal, she can't make anything. Only for the next meal, she can make something and keep it on the plate. Mm -hmm. And then it'll become unlimited plate. Mm -hmm. Keep on taking and it'll be replenished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. So, and then we... we um... Prabhuji, it's Akshaya Patram, no, sir? Yes, yes. So, we discussed about the Akshaya Patra or... Uh, because it's given by the mm -hmm. sun god... Um, and then uh, we discussed how Krishna came and he was very mm. upset with how they were treated and how he was in a war. Uh, and um, he yeah, couldn't Krishna come. was upset with the uh, yeah, he was having a war with Salva, Salva, uh, yeah. yeah. And, but don't and then, worry. then we spoke about Vidura, mm -hmm. how Vidura came, and then Dhritarashtra mm -hmm. called for him back. Um, mm -hmm all that and then we spoke about how arjuna went to increase his skills and get all the weapons uh, so this is what we can learn that we should also learn and get our degrees and um, get our skills so that we can serve god better um, by with our studies and skills so we, uh, just like that arjuna is going to get all these weapons because in the future there'll be a war uh, and he wanted to make sure he would be able to defeat everybody. Wait, how did he right? know that there was going to be a war in the future? So um, everybody knew that after, even after 13 years, they finished that and they were hiding and they were not caught. They okay. knew the, uh, Duryodhana's mind that he would, that he would take he, revenge. He would not give anything back. So that um, based on the game, they had to give, uh, at least Indraprastha back, right? Half the kingdom back, because that was all built and owned by Yudhishthira. Now everything is being enjoyed by Dhritarashtra, uh, Dhritarashtra's son, Duryodhana. Duryodhana. Okay, so that brings us to the, the next section we are going to discuss today. And this is about, well, let me move this out of the screen. Okay, so what happened was, um, they were all in a forest called what? Anybody knows? What is the name of the forest? Kamyavan? Yes, Kamyavan or Kamika. Yeah. Um, so um, in, in Kamyavan, they were sitting and then they decided, oh, we really miss Arjuna. Arjuna is in, uh, in the heavenly planets and it's almost uh, three or four years since he went. Now, um, uh, what do we do? Uh, we really miss him. What if the Pandavas come back uh, to the, to, um, you know, Hastinapur? No, they, they, based on the game they lost, they, they are always following the rules, the Pandavas. Mm -hmm. So, so when they, when they went on the game, the idea was if whoever loses will go to the forest for, um, 12 years and one year in hiding, correct? So mm -hmm. so they had to follow it. And Yudhishthira always follows rules and he's always doing the right thing. So he went to the forest and he didn't want to go back um, um, to, to Hastinapur, even though they had a lot of hardships. But they were taking care of the Brahmins and uh, uh, Yudhishthira really liked being in the forest because he, uh, he was learning from the Brahmins about the different scriptures. He was hearing a good katha every day. So he, he actually was enjoying it. Uh, but uh, Bhima and Draupadi were very upset and morose about all the situation, how they were cheated. And they were always wondering why this is happening. And Yudhishthira should be the king. He shouldn't be in a forest like a, um, uh, like a Brahmin or a forest dweller who's not taking care of the kingdom, et cetera. So, um, 
So uh, Yudhishthira consoled them and said, we have to do uh, what comes to us. We have to take every uh, hardship as a blessing and all that good things. So he was telling them. And then um, uh, Yudhishthira also learned a lot. There was this, um, this uh, rishi called uh, Vrihadeshwa. Okay, Vrihadeshwa. So Vrihadeshwa taught Yudhishthira skills uh, of dice playing. So earlier you remember he lost all the dice games because he didn't have any uh, skills compared to um, Shakuni, right? So Shakuni was uh, a really uh, good player. And now they're making sure that again in the future, if there's a dice game, Yudhishthira shouldn't lose. So this Rishi Vrihadeshwa taught Yudhishthira the skills, how, how well to play. And then uh, seeing Yudhishthira a little sad about, uh, about the whole situation, he told them the story of Nala and Damayanti. Anybody knows the story of Nala and Damayanti? So these are, two, these are uh, a couple uh, in, um, in, in those times that, that happened before. But what happened was Nala's brother uh, was a big gambler. And Nala and uh, Dementi were husband and wife. They were uh, the very handsome and beautiful couple uh, and they, they ruled this kingdom. But uh, um, Nala's brother uh, played the dice and defeated him and uh, he had to go to the forest. Again, Nala was not a big gambler, but his brother was. So Nala had to go to the forest and then he even lost his wife in the forest and he was going through a lot of hardships in the forest. Um, but then at the end of the story, Nala and Dementi, they, they get reunited and they come back and Nala defeats his brother in another dice game and he gets the kingdom back is uh, what uh, this, this Rishi taught Yudhishthira. So he doesn't have to worry. A person who does good will always get good ultimately, who, who will be the final winner. So don't worry about um, all these uh, situations now. And then uh, they got a message um, from Narada Muni that they have to go, uh, go for pilgrimage because they are anyway sitting in Kamiya one. Why not go visit all the good temples and uh, visit a lot of um, um, priests and nice people who can teach them good lessons. Anyway, they can't do their, uh, their regular job of ruling the kingdom. So while they're in the forest, why not travel and see all these good places? So Yudhishthira decided, yes, we'll have to go. Let's go to Badrikashram. So Badrikashram uh, is what I want to show here. Uh, you see here the Indian map. It is very close to the Himalayas. Um, uh, it's actually foothills of Himalayas. On the right, you see a picture of um, Badri, um, Badrinath or where the Badrika Ashram is. Very beautiful place with hills in the backdrop and lakes. So there are many, many uh, sages there. And they also wanted to go receive Arjuna at some point because uh, they, they got a message that Arjuna is in, uh, is in Indra Loka and he amassed all the weapons and he'll be coming back soon. So they all decided to go to the foothills of Himalayas. Okay, so hmm. they started there. Um, Himalayas are really cold, by the way. Yeah, they're cold. Uh, it's cold that uh, they're snow capped, right? Like you see. And then there's a Rishi called Lomasha Rishi who came to uh, like a tour guide to take them to which are all the places because he has traveled everywhere and he can just fly around. Uh, he is very, very powerful. So, like him? Yeah. Right so, yeah. So that. Um, so we'll come to who is on the left side of the picture. So they were walking, walking, and then they were climbing this hill to reach Badrika Ashram. And Draupadi was very, very tired and she collapsed and she fell unconscious. And every all the brothers, the four brothers. So why, why do I say four brothers and not five brothers? Because Arjuna is still up in the heavens. Yes, yes, yes. He's in Indra Loka. So the four brothers were very sad that their, their wife is going through a lot of trouble walking. She should be a princess. So then Bhima said, the best person to help now is Bhima's son. What's his name? Oh, 
that Toad Cutcher? Very yeah, nice. Yeah. Good job. So, so that Gadot Kaja in the picture. Yeah. So Gadot Kaja <laughs> comes. So Gadot Kaja had uh, given them, uh, Hidumbi had given them a boon, right? Gadot Kaja, whenever they want him, they just think about him and he'll come. And he's a Rakshas, right? He's half Rakshas, half man, because Bhima married Hidumbi and their son is Gadot Kaja. So, yeah. So Gadot Kaja come, he has magical powers like this. So he he just takes Draupati uh, on his shoulder uh, and she's comfortably sitting. And uh, his friends also comes and they carry the Pandavas and some of the Brahmanas and they, they fly to Badrikashram. Wait, so I only see Draupati on there. Yeah, so this picture is just showing why Draupati only needed this, but then since she was flying, everybody started flying. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> Why? Because anyway, he came with his friends. I thought you meant flying, flying. No, he. They're being carried oh, by, by the Rakshas. But I don't see that in the picture. Yeah, it's not in the picture. It is part of the story. <laughs> okay. okay. So they they reach Badrikashram. They rest, and suddenly they see a thousand petaled flower. What? Uh, lo lotus flower flying in the uh, in the wind and it comes uh, and Draupati sees it and Draupati is, oh I know this story and Draupati really likes that flower and she says oh Bhima you're very powerful uh, I'd like to give this flower to Yudhishthira uh, because he is such a good person and he's our leader so i want to give this Wait, flower to yudhishthira so it's bima's turn to be with draupati um yeah yeah uh, no so that that's probably right but it's not detailed in what uh in where i read but uh, hmm. right now they are all ascetics i don't think they are uh, living as husband and wife they're just um, traveling together so um uh, they're not, uh, uh, what I mean is they're not alone with uh, the wife or anything. Everybody is um, just traveling together. But in this situation, only Bhima and Draupadi are there and they see this flower. Uh, and oh, then, yeah, it's like Yudhishthira is in a house. Yes. So, Somewhere. yeah, 1,000 petals. Uh, and, it's, I know it's, and it's golden. So, Draupadi oh, says, golden. oh, this is so beautiful. Where is this coming from? It looks like it's coming from the heavens of Babao, like on the hills. And it, this Badrikashram is like uh, very close to a hill called Gandhamadana. So, um, so they wanted to, uh, he, she, she said, I want more of these. Can you please bring more of these flowers? This flower I'm going to give Yudhishthira. And then Bhima really wanted to please Draupadi because Draupadi, you know, she fell unconscious and she was feeling very sad in this situation. So Bhima was looking for an opportunity to make her happy. So Bhima said, definitely, I will bring you as much as you want. And he sets out to find where this flower is coming from. So he started running. And you know, Bhima is so big. And when he's, he's roaring and running and yeah, all and the animals. Yeah, saw an elephant. That's so and, uh, elephants and tigers are all running away because Bhima is very powerful and heavy. And he's running, uh, roaring. And everybody is running away. And then and he then saw a pond. He jumped in. He took, um, took the shower. water. And then he got more powerful. Um, oh, yeah. And not powerful, he just got refreshed and he started running again uh, and, and uh, going up the hill. And then suddenly he saw that there was a little monkey lying on his way. And then he... Oh, okay, so yeah, let right. me, um, I'll ask you. So, um, so this monkey is lying on the way and the monkey said, um, no, mon and then Bhima said, um, oh, move monkey, you're on my way. Because all of the animals were afraid and running away. This monkey is just lying on the on Bhima's way and he's not even moving. So Bhima said, move monkey. And the monkey uh, did not move. And monkey said, if you want, you can jump over me. And now, uh, what did Bhima do? Did Bhima jump over the monkey? You want to Yes. Say? Yes? Oh. Okay, he did. He tried, but um, then he um, he couldn't. He, he didn't. It didn't work. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. So he said he cannot jump over the monkey. You know why? I think it's inasp inauspicious. Yeah. So because uh, that's Haruman. No, no, no. That's he doesn't know that yet. Yeah, I know. Don't don't give off the. <laughs> the <laughs> okay. I heard this story before. Okay. Anyway. Uh, no, it's not because it was Hanuman. Bhima uh, did not know yet. He, but Bhima yeah, thought it was just a regular monkey, but he wouldn't even jump over a regular monkey because it's blocking its way. Because he 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 knew that the soul is present in everybody's heart, and uh, the soul is spiritual, and nobody should disrespect the soul by jumping over. Uh, uh, even if it's uh, just an uh, animal. So he said, no, I cannot jump over you. You better move. Uh, and uh, I'm getting angry. You know, Bhima, when he gets angry, he's very angry. Yeah. So then Hanuman says, oh, I'm very old. Oh, sorry, not Hanuman yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> just a monkey. Monkey says, oh, you, why don't you, uh, you, it's my tail that is covering your way. So why don't you just move my tail? I'm too old to move my tail even. And then Bhima started to lift the tail of the monkey and he couldn't even lift the tail. Yeah. Then he understood that this is not an ordinary monkey. Yep. And this mm -hmm. is somebody special. Mm -hmm. And he was thinking maybe this is Hanuman. But uh, could it be Hanuman? That was almost a million years before in Rama and uh, that was in Treta Yuga. Uh, would it be possible that uh, Hanuman is still here? But then Hanuman will uh, reveal himself that he's actually Hanuman. Hanuman. <laughs> yeah. So, and then Bhima says, oh, I really want to see uh, your beautiful um, form, like the big, strong form, um, uh, so that I can really uh, meditate on you. And um, you are actually my brother. So how do you know? So why do you, why is Bhima saying that Hanuman is his brother? They're both, they're both sons of Vayu. Yes, yes, yes. We both can... are Vayu sons. Vayu is the wind god, right? Oh, wind. yeah. So, so wind god is the one who blessed Wait. Oh, Kunti oh, okay. with Bhima, correct? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, Hanuman is also Vayu Putra. So that's why he's calling him a brother. And he's so happy to see Hanuman. And uh, he, um, uh, he wanted to see his form, which he crossed the big ocean to, to Sri Lanka. Everybody knows that story, right? Mm -hmm. he, had to, he had to jump uh, from India to Sri Lanka over the ocean to see what, Nara, uh, what um, Ravana's palace looks like if Mother Sita is being kept captive there and all those things. The detective work was done by Hanuman because he jumped over the ocean. So um, our Bhima is really wanting to see that form. He is seeing a very weak form here, right? Uh, that, um, that Hanuman had taken. Oh, Hanuman said, oh, actually that form is very difficult to see because that's, that's, um, uh, that was in Treta Yuga where everything was bigger, people were bigger. And um, in Dwapara Yuga, you cannot see me in that big form. And then, uh, but Bhima kept on insisting that he wants to see. And then uh, Hanuman relented and he, he showed him um, a form that he could see. He, he, he told him, told Bhima to stand back and he became bigger and bigger and bigger and he became as big as a mountain. And Bhima was so happy and he fell on the feet of Hanuman to see this wonderful sight. And he, he didn't reach his actual form also. It was just enough for uh, Bhima to see. Um, but um, Bhima was very happy that he... Uh, Wait, so Hanuman even bigger than that? Yeah, Hanuman can grow unlimitedly. And Bhima suddenly thought, oh, you are so powerful and you have so, such wonderful strength. Then how, how come you didn't get Sita for uh, Ram right away? Well, because you have, you have so much power. And then uh, Hanuman said, even, no, he wanted, he wanted to make sure that Ram does what his Leela. So Ram Leela uh, had to be done. And... Um, and he, he didn't want to spoil that 
that wonderful pastime of Ram going to Lanka and uh, winning Mother Sita back. So that, that he told that reason. That, that is why he didn't finish everything in, uh, with all his power. He just uh, was following the orders of Ram. And he said, whoever follows uh, the Lord will get unlimited powers uh, to do their service. So we can also, if we, if we are doing the right thing that God, that pleases God, he will be very happy and he will give you even more than what you, what you have. So he'll, um, he'll enhance what you already have and he will carry you where you're lacking. So that's, that's why we should always uh, pray to God and do what pleases God. Okay, so uh, now Hanuman uh, showed him and then Hanuman said, you are, you're, you're, you're a very nice brother of mine. And he saw that um, um, Bhima was really prayerful and he is actually a great devotee of Krishna also, uh, which is uh, who is Ram himself, right? So he, uh, he's very happy with Bhima and he wanted to give Bhima a boon. And then Bhima, uh, Bhima said, oh, uh, if you want to give me anything, just give me your support and blessing. Uh, I don't want anything specific from you, but whenever, uh, whenever we go to fight, just be with us. We, I just want to be um, your blessing. I don't want anything particular. And then Hanuman, uh, what did Hanuman say? Mm, no, no. So uh, in the war, how, do, how was Hanuman present with the Pandavas? He was on their flag. Yes, very nice, Mr. He was, what? Yeah, uh, Hanuman said, I will be on Arjuna's flag. Arjuna's chariot has a flag. Oh, yeah, he can be small. Yeah, he'll, he'll be on that flag. Uh, and he his power will be there. And also, whenever Bhima roars, because if Bhima roars and fights, he comes with so much intensity with roaring. And Hanuman said, whenever you roar, I will make it so powerful that your enemy will be so fearful to hear <laughs> Bhima. So, so he gave all but these wonderful the blessings. But wasn't scared. No, in, in Bhagavad Gita, in the first chapter, actually, when Bhima and Arjuna and Krishna all blow their conch shells, Arjuna becomes very scared. Even though he had 11 oh. Akshavani Sena and Pandavas only had 7 uh, Akshavani, Duryodhana was so afraid and he had to go and talk <laughs> to his seniors. To I thought remove. you said Arjuna was so scared. No, no, no. I, 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 mean, I meant Duryodhana. Hmm. Sorry if I said Arjuna. Arjuna is uh, on the side of Bhima, right? Okay. But so, Arjuna was still scared to... Um, oh, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's not about scared. So Arjuna was in a dilemma. Should he fight this war or is it better to just go to the forest and not fight this war? So that was a different reason. He, uh, In order to teach us what is the right thing to do, he... He, he takes that position where he is kind of uh, ignorant and he doesn't know um, whether to fight or whether not to fight. And he, is, he becomes Krishna's devotee and he says, Krishna, you tell me, should I fight or not? Because if I fight, I have to kill all these people in this war. And, and if I kill them, then what is the point? They are my teachers, my guru, my uncle, my cousins. Oh, isn't that a wrong thing? So you will all have this doubt, but that's what Bhagavad Gita clears. And we'll go into that later. Uh -huh. okay. Because we're never going to learn that part until the war. Yeah. So we're just going through the background information of why the war happened and who are the people in the war. We're just learning why but, the yeah. war was needed, right? So why was the war needed again? Just say one reason. The main reason is yeah, the main, main reason is Pandavas after their exile when they went back, um, Duryodhana said he won't give anything back. Oh, and then he so, started the war. And, and the war was the only alternative. And we'll talk about that later. Okay. Okay. So then um, this whole place is called uh, Ganda Madana Hill. That um, uh, Bhima was climbing. So um, um, Hanuman told him that uh, you just follow this uh, uh, passage upwards and then you will see 
a, a lake called Saugandiga and it's owned by Kubera and you can you can get these Saugandiga flowers from So there. head north? No, head up up the hill. Up the hill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he kept on going but then once he reached there he saw many um, rakshasas and yadavas um, protecting guard yeah, guarding yeah. yeah guarding this lake with this saukandika flower and then bima you know bima is very a little um he he has that kshatriya spirit uh, passion in him so he thought he wouldn't ask anybody he'll just jump in uh, to the water and Wait, start collecting what? the flowers. Not very nice. Because he thought everything belongs to God. So wh why are these guys uh, protecting this lake? So many people came to fight him and he hit them and uh, injured them. And um, these Rakshasas, they ran ran to Kubera, who was not there at Saugandika, but uh, they went and asked Kubera, um, this, this guy is coming and taking this, what should we do? Um, and then, Actually, Bhima had said, uh, I'm Yudhishthira's brother. I'd like to take some flowers for my wife. But uh, they, these guards were pretty um, pretty um, resistant too. So that's why there was a fight. And then Bhima actually uh, fought with them. And then they went, they became afraid of Bhima and ran to Kubera uh, to see what to do. And Kubera said, oh, that's fine. He can have the flowers. He's doing it for a good reason. Um, so they came back and they kept a distance. Uh, <laughs> they kept a distance. Yeah, because they're afraid of Bhima. Because even though he was just a human body, he was very powerful and he could defeat all of these uh, yakshas. And, or kill uh, all of them. Yeah, yeah. So they, they, they were, were basically afraid of that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so, wait, what is this? Yeah, so we'll that come part? to that. So uh, uh, at this time, Bhima was away for a long time and Yudhishthira was getting worried. Where is Bhima? He's not seen so far. And then Draupadi said, I told him to get me these flowers. And then uh, Yudhishthira became very, very, very um, stressed out to, to think about Bhima uh, in some danger. And he knows Bhima, he would be very rash and he would just take things without doing the right thing. So he, he suddenly asked Gadot Kaja, please take us all to this, this Saukantika lake. So when Bhima was in the pool collecting flowers, all of them arrived there um, because they, they could fly with uh, Gadot Kaja, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so all of the uh, other three brothers and uh, Draupadi all came there and then they saw uh, um, all these uh, yakshas Bima. and rakshasas afraid and on one side and Bhima in the pool collecting all these uh, thousand petaled golden flowers. And, um, and Yudhishthira uh, kind of chastised Bhima that uh, this is not the way to do this. You should be asked permission. You should get, uh, um, you should act a little more better. Yeah, like as politely. Yeah, so he, he did ask uh, that he's going to do this, but you know, he, he has a lot of Kshatriya spirit. Uh, he's a fighting mentality person. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, Bhima. yeah, so Bhima, um, uh, everybody came there, everybody liked the place and they were, uh, they were enjoying the place. Yeah. They stayed there for a couple of days uh, and then uh, they, they went back to Badrik Ashram uh, and then uh, they they wanted to go um, see the the this okay there was another instance where another uh, beautiful flower came and this was from uh, the top of um, uh, even top uh, of the hill this is where uh, Kubera is Kubera lives and um, uh, and Draupadi said I like to some of these flowers <laughs> and <What>? so. <laughs> so so then, uh, not to blame Draupadi, but she's kind of, you know. No, she, uh, she like uh, women like the flowers, jewelry, and all those things. So, and they're in the forest, so they they just want to explore, right? So uh -huh. she she so uh -huh. um so uh, Bhima and she says she kind of taunted Bhima. Oh, if Arjuna was here, he would have got anything I wanted and all those things. That's <laughs> not very nice. <laughs> and so Bhima, Wait, I think Draupadi does Draupadi like Arjuna the most? 
Yeah, that that is there. Yes, because Draupadi was won by Arjuna by shooting the arrow, so he was the main reason, right? So they got they all got married. So she she really uh, liked uh, Arjuna. Okay, anyway, she she taunted the Bima like that. So Bima said, "Oh, I can do this too," and he went up to uh, the Kuvera's abode to this lake to find uh, this this mountain. Wait, so power. that was on the tippy tippy top of the mountain? Yeah, that was almost on the top of the mountain, and uh, there he went, and uh, he he actually had uh, had a fight with um, Kuvera. Because, no, Kuvera's commander was there, Maniman. <laughs> and, uh, so before that all these yakshas came to fight and he even fought and killed a few of them then maniman came maniman uh, tried to stop um, um, bhima and then um, uh, then the commander of um, kuvera also couldn't um, couldn't really resist bhima's power and even maniman died uh, and the news Manima reached died? Yeah, uh, because he was he was not allowing Bima to get into the city of Kubera, because so humans are not allowed there. What? Uh, That's not very nice. Yeah. Either. So so yeah so uh, so the fight happened and then uh, the the gods they uh, they went and told Kubera because Kubera really liked this commander in chief and everything and so he was a little angry at this point because. Uh, even uh, though Yudhishthira and Pandavas were really nice, what Bhima is doing is it's like a second offense to him. And he immediately took his chariot and he's coming to... Kill uh, Bhima. So what happens? The, does he come to kill Bhima? No. So yeah, while he was traveling, he suddenly remembers a curse they had got from Agastya Rishi that, uh, you know, once... The Kubera was traveling. Kubera has a plane, you know. That, that's how uh, Ravana, like Ravana. Ravana had the plane, right? So Kubera's plane, um, uh, he was traveling in it and this uh, Maniman was a commander and he was feeling so proud to be with Kubera. And Kubera was also very proud that, oh, we have a plane. These other sages who are on the on the earth, they have no plane. They are just praying all the time. They are useless people. <laughs> And uh, they were thinking like that. And this money man, he spit from the plane on this, um, uh, on, on these poor sannyasis who are taking, uh, who are praying to God. And so Agastya Rishi, uh, he cursed uh, this money man that he, he will die at the hand of a human. And, uh, uh, and uh, Kubera cannot do anything about it. So Kubera remembered this curse he had got and he said, oh, so it looks like the curse is coming to effect. This is, this is what I myself did. My own karma is coming back to me. So there's wait, no wait, point. So, um, so wait, so who is, uh, who was insulting the Brahmanas? No, all of them were flying and being too proud and insulting. And Maniman is the one who spit on them. Okay. So, so it's kind of like a curse for money, money. And Kubera. So yeah. because Kubera is actually, if somebody comes and uh, hurts somebody in your house, wouldn't you be angry and mad? But now Kubera has to deal with it because it was it was his own karma of being too proud and hurting the feelings of the sannyasis that, that caused this. Okay. So that is how this happened. So Kubera uh, actually forgave Bhima because it was actually um, his own karma coming back to him. Okay. So while um, everybody, uh, at this point, everybody had come there because they were seeing ill omens of jackals crying and all that because Bhima was in trouble at this point. But then they reached there and then uh, Kubera had already forgiven Bhima. And uh, Kubera invited everybody, everybody to live there. Um, okay, and it is so beautiful. 11 away. Okay, that's okay. I mean, like 10 away. 10. Okay. Yeah. So um, they decided to wait in Kubera's house about over the Gandhamadana hill for Arjuna to come back from heaven. Mm -hmm. So um, from uh, Indra's abode or the heavenly planet. So then uh, one. One day they, they saw a chariot coming, and uh, this is this picture here. Um, actually, no. So, 
this picture actually shows when Arjuna comes back and then everybody hugs him. They were they really missed him. He was he was away for almost but five that years. That looks now. like a fight. Yeah. So now Arjuna is telling them about what happened in heaven, where he he got all these skills. What are the skills he got? Uh, something from. Yeah, he got uh, he. Pashupatastra. Yes. From... Yes. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Who wants to say? Did he get um? um... Did he, please. Yeah, did he um get fighting so it's like how to use um like different weapons and how to um more skills with the bullets and arrows? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, many, many skills like that. And each of the devas uh, had given him uh, their special weapon and Indra. Yeah, and Indra even gave him the what thunderbolt about Surya? weapon. Yeah, Surya also gave a weapon. Everybody gave um, their weapon because Indra is the top devata. So everybody follows what Indra does. And you know, Arjuna is Indra's son. Wait, but what about Shiva? Yeah, Shiva, Shiva all, uh, so nobody can instruct Shiva to give, right? So that's why if you remember last class, we discussed how uh, Indra told him to pray to Lord Shiva. And then Shiva, remember, he came and well, no, shot the arrow but... on the boar. At yeah, the same but time. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So, um, uh, so he got all this, and then Arjuna said he got the an armor, uh, just like Karna's armor uh, that uh, that is impenetrable. Uh, so from, you can't uh, take it off. Uh, he can take it off, but it it cannot be pierced by anything. So Arjuna was getting uh, these impenetrable armor. Good thing from, he didn't get too proud about them. Yeah, and then he he got uh, his conchal devadatta. He got a chariot with ten thousand horses. Oh wow! Uh, and um, Indra's chariot, Mathali, uh, was also there. Uh, and um, Indra, because he gave him so many gifts like this, then uh, he he needed some guru dakshina. Yeah, so you didn't get so proud about it. No, so Guru Dakshina means uh, you you're giving something back for all the good things you receive. Mm, so okay. so he said there are some really bad uh, dhanavas or um, in, under the ocean. So you have to go uh, go fight them. They're fight called, what? Fight who? So there are some demons who who are in the deep ocean. Who have been troubling Indra for a long time. So oh. with all these powers you got, go defeat them. So he had this hor horse-driven chariot. Ten thousand uh, horses were driven by Matali. He all better that. use that armor. Yeah, yeah. So like he that. used all this. Uh, so he's narrating all these stories to the Pandavas. That's what you see on this Wait. white picture. Oh, so he already did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so he went there. He went and defeated the. The, the Navata Kavachas. These names are like very complex. We don't have to remember them. It's just that you just have Navaka, to remember. Navakati. Yeah. Um, so he went and used his wonderful mm -hmm. weapons. He defeated them. And then he he defeated another city called Matali, uh, where where there were um, some some demons living as Kala Kanyas, they were called. Um, they were living in a city that Indra owned. It was even bigger than Amravati, where Indra lives. Uh, and they, it was taken away by these demons. So they were cursed that only a human can come and defeat them. And they thought that can never happen. But now Arjuna is uh, like a human. So he, yeah. he was able to come and use... He actually used Lord Shiva's Pashupatastra to defeat these, these people. How did he... Wait, what can the Pashupatastra do again? No, it's a very powerful weapon that they can use, a celestial weapon that they can use to, to win uh, against these... Uh, no, but what can it do? It can be used for different things. And in the war, you will see that... Um, uh, where Arjuna used all of these. Uh, and it is said that celestial weapons cannot be used on people who don't have celestial weapons and who are just human. So if a situation arises that there is a demon or somebody that they cannot handle with regular arrows, they can use this powerful weapon. So these uh, these Dhanavas and uh, Daityas, they, they were using all kinds of powers of illusion and all that. Suddenly everything becomes dark. And Arjuna uh, doesn't know where he is. He can't see anything. So all these to counteract all this, he had to use all his powers he got. It's like a like an exercise. How did the, he get 
dark all of a sudden. Is it time to play the Kahoot? I've yeah, been yeah. We, we, we can get to the Kahoot. Uh, Everyone, in, please wait. In, in three patient. minutes. Okay, so just last one story, okay? Sorry I was boring you guys. <laughs> um, but um, let's go to this, this story. This one's really, really exciting, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you think is on the picture on the left? She is a cobra fighting Bima. Oh, yeah, you got it right. Yeah. That is Bima. Right. But yeah. yeah, anybody fat. else? Any more Bima's details? So Mr. G wants here. to say something. Yeah. Uji, um, the cobra's name is Nahusha, and it was his um he in his previous birth he was a king who's actually yeah. um who was he he was so good that he became Indra, but then he got yeah. proud and he was um he told all the scepter rishis to carry him on a palanquin, so yeah. that's why they cursed him and now he he became a snake. <laughs> yeah. Very uh, nice. I don't get this. Oh. What Mishiji said. Okay, I'll I'll quickly explain it. Okay. Oh, yeah, was actually the ruler of the whole world. So he's actually an ancestor of uh, Bhima and the Pandavas. Uh, every, but he he uh, he he was even given the role of Indra. And, and Indra he had to died go. when he fall, fell off that chair. He in has, the sky. Yeah, so, so he even decided that he will marry Indra's wife, Sachi Devi, and uh, he was going in a palanquin. To, to the wedding and he made, he became so proud that he made all the rishis carry his palanquin. And in and uh, you know, rishis are very humble. They said, okay, we'll carry you. And they carried him. And and to top all that, he with his leg, he was kicking Agastya Rishi. So, so when he did that, he got cursed that he would, uh, come back. <laughs> I guess the yeah, Rishi always curses so many people. Yeah, but so that some uh, cursing are sometimes blessings in disguise from a devotee. So yeah. when you're too proud, if you continue in that same situation, you'll become worse and worse. So sometimes if you get um, a, 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 a suffering, you, you will redeem yourself. You become better. So sometimes these curses are blessings. So in what did I get the Rishi curse? That he'll become a snake. So this is this same king now? Nahusha. He he had become a snake, and he is in the forest. And the Bima, you know, Bima is very rash. So he's running in the forest, uh, thinking rash? that he's. What does that mean? Rash means he's very rough with everything, and he he's running in the forest. He's not scared of anything. He's a little proud, you know, that uh, he's very powerful. And this wait, this situation is actually I... humbling Bima a little bit. So you'll humbling? just see. Yeah. So what happens is. He, you know, Bhima has a um, strength of 10,000 elephants. Mm. But when he was running in the forest thinking nothing can harm him, a regular python-like snake comes and coils uh, himself That's on Bhima. Fun. And then Bhima couldn't even free himself from the coils. And he was thinking, what is this? I, I have so much power and why can't I just get freed myself? This not must not be a regular snake. And he asked him and then... And Nahusha tells his story and how he's his ancestor and then how he um, he got uh, the power to uh, reduce the strength of all his prey. So he would lose anybody who comes in his range, he can, he can take and have as food. So he coiled up Bhima and Bhima is ready to die. When Bhima is not sad for himself, he's sad for his uh, brothers because nobody's there to protect them when if the, all the strength is lost. If Bhima becomes food. And then at the same time, Yudhishthira was seeing such ill omens in the, in the ashram. Um, so these, they, they're back in um, 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 in Kamiyawan at this point. So, they're, they're, um, so Yudhishthira comes um, to look for Bhima and then he sees that the snake has coiled and uh, Nahusha says, go away or I'm going to make you my food for the next day. I'm going to eat Bhima. And then uh, Yudhishthira said, please don't, anything I can do uh, to free my brother. And then Nahusha says, if you answer my questions, I will free you. Because also the curse from Agastya was um, when he, uh, if somebody answers the questions correctly, then he will even lose his, um, uh, his curse. He can get out of this snake body and go back home, back to Godhead. So uh, Yudhishthira comes and 
answers the questions. You know, Yudhishthira had been learning all the wonderful scriptures from the Brahmanas. He, he knew everything so well. So um, Nahusha was asking him, who is a Brahmana and uh, uh, what, are, what is the nature of the soul and super soul? And Yudhishthira knew all those so well. And then um, Yudhishthira says, a Brahmana is anybody who is very compassionate and all the good, good aspects. And he asked then, then how come uh, there are some, um, um, so there, there are others who may be doing all this, but why aren't they Brahmanas? And Yudhishthira says, actually, no, uh, Brahmana is not by birth. Brahmana is by who, uh, how a person acts, what the character of the person is. It's not by birth. So all these answers really, Nahusha really liked it. And then they have a good conversation and uh, Nahusha let Bhima and Yudhishthira go. And uh, Nahusha also left this snake body and went back But that's not that very time. nice to eat his own, like, no, own he son. Didn't, he didn't eat him. He let him go. But, uh, I know, if, but if he, he was, was going to eat him. Yeah, but if you're a snake, you're only looking for food at, at a point, right? So he, he had got the boon to eat whatever. And it also, if you see, you know, now Bhima, who was thinking that nothing can hurt him, has, uh, has been a little humbled here that, um, mm. that uh, he can, can come into a situation where he would be uh, in trouble too. Eating by a snake. Okay. Ready for the Kahoot, everyone? Okay. Also, we have 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. Everybody get ready. Your, minute, your pin uh, will be coming soon. Okay, 714. Okay, what is it? 714-9335. Nine, three, three, enter. Mm -hmm. Can everybody see the screen? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, very nice. Can you hide the volume? Ah, good. And welcome, Ria. Sri Hari and Shreya, I see them. Uh, but why Why isn't anybody joining? I was joining. I joined. Oh, it looks like there is some issue with Kahoot. Oh. 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 Who am I? Yeah. Who am I? That's a good question we all need to ask. Uh, mm. Oh, Ayana is with gifts. Is it for because everyone. it's Christmas? It's for mm. everyone. Is it Santa's gifts? No, I got them for Look everyone. at Ishika. She has two dolphins. And Mishti Ji is smiling. Very good. Happy devotee is the best devotee. Okay. Ria Riddhi are in. Welcome. And Yudhishthira is here. So he probably know all the answers. I just chose my name to be the Parrot King. Oh, you're the Parrot King. So... Mm. And you have a have a crown also. Hey, look, 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 the internet. So can everybody hear us? It seems like there is some delay. In, can uh, anybody hear us? Yes, yes, I am. We can, we can hear you. Ah, we, we could! Hear, your video is like freezing okay? in between. It's yeah. like... Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But at least you can hear us. Yeah, uh, maybe it's just a Kahoot thing. Mm, maybe. It's in connection issues. Should I close something? 
Yeah, I think you should close some apps that you're there for some no reason. Rebel G? Yes? I'm, I cannot log into I cannot log into Kahoot. It's saying that I've been con disconnected. I think you really need. Yeah, I think Rebel G, there's a connection issue on your side. Oh. Okay, we are. Looks like we are back. Sorry for these technical oh, issues. Um, let's let me stop my video to see if that's the cause. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the cause. Okay. I know we should be going with the video. But I think without the video, it's the best answer now. You're going to hear some noises, and that's okay. Bro, would you have a question? Yes. So um, when you, um, in the in the Mahabharata, it, does it happen, um, does Brahma go looking for a flower twice, and the first time is in the pond, the second time is in Kuber's, um city, or is it only one time? No, if, uh, so first one is a little lower, it's just a Saugandika lake that, that uh, Kuvera owns. Uh, and then a second was Kuvera's, it's up up in the Gandamadana hill. It is actually uh, an abode of uh, Kuvera. It, it's not like that is the only abode for Kuvera. He was not always living there. He let the Pandavas live there uh, for a long time. And once they finished uh, about four years there, uh, they decided to come come back down to Kamyavan. Um, so, yeah. So, it, it's just um, an event letting them to go there. So, um, yeah. So, there were two times that uh, Bhima went and um, um, he explored the place. And um, yeah, it was both Kuvera's um, places, but one was much lower place, and another was high up in the hill, which were more guarded, where this commander was, the money man was, and all those. Okay, Prabhuji. Question, Mr. G. Huh? Yes, thank you, Prabhuji. I have, okay. a, I have another question, a follow-up question. So then, who did he fight against in the first time? Like, it was lower... Thing is, the lake. Oh, yeah. He he didn't really fight with any. Um, any special people, it was just the guards at that point. Um, the commander in chief, Maniman, was uh, on top uh, of the, uh, on his uh, real abode, but uh, around the Saukandika uh, lake, there was there was just um, a, a regular Rakshasas, who, nothing worth mentioning as a specific great person there. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're getting here some noises. All right, Ayana, don't play okay, with toys. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Let's let's, let's start. We have thirteen players. Welcome all. Let's okay, go ahead and get started. Oh, this is not working. Huh? Oh. Okay, Mahabharata, Saukantika, Arjuna returns, and uh, Nahusha. Okay, who taught Yudhishthira the skills to play and win on dice? So. We discussed this. You can uh, probably do elimination. Is it Daumya, Vasishta, Vrihadeshwa, or Vishwamitra? It was a stage. Okay, most of you got that right. It, it was a slightly tough question, but you should try to eliminate these. And this, I, I thought, is an important factor because this is how Yudhishthira would not lose going forward in case it comes to a dice game again. Okay, Gauri Shankar is on first place. Nitin, Mishtiji, Riya Riddhi, pa Parrot King. Okay, second question. Why did the sage describe the story of Nala and Damendi to Yudhishthira? To teach him about gambling, to make him angry, to console him from his sadness, to make him give up all desires. Why did the sage describe the story of Nala? 
Yeah. Ayana, you're not playing? No. Okay. Yeah. So he wanted to show that Nala and Dementi, uh, due to the gambling game, they, they went through even more hardships. Yudhishthira could spend time with his brothers and wife and be in the company of good, good, good Brahmanas who were teaching him. Can uh, you hire the volume? Can anybody hear anything? No. Nobody. Yes. No, Prabhuji. You don't hear the game music, do you? No, we, no. Can, we can hear you, but we can't. No, hear. it's up here. Look. It's a command. We can't hear the music, but we can hear you. Okay, I think that's that's good enough. Maybe because there's some network issue, they, they probably reduced the, the volume. Let's go ahead then. Okay. Mishti ji, second, Gauri, Shankar ji, uh, first place. Next one. It's already, it's already 1029. We're going to oh. waste time. Who carried Draupadi when she fell unconscious climbing the hills to Badrikashram? Bhima, Gadotkaja, Arjuna, Yudhishthira. Oh, the music is coming back now. Huh? I didn't even notice it. Can't hear it that long. Okay, all of you got it right. Great. Some of you were thinking and missed it. Better to answer. Oh, Gauri, Shankarji are on fire, but they were closely uh, um, led yes. by 2775, Mishtiji. So just a question of how fast you click, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ethereal has many gifts for Christmas, and she <laughs> is on fourth place, and Ria Vidhi is on the board. Acha, you're going to waste time. Okay, what is the name of the flower, Draupadi? Parijada, Rose, Jasmine, Saugandika. I don't know this one, but I just click. Thousand petals. Okay, most of you got this right. Parijata is a flower that Krishna got for Rukmini and Satyabhama from Indra's abode. And it came out of the Samudra Mandan. Right, so that, that's not the one, but good job. Okay, highest answer streak of four, Mishtiji. Who was the monkey blocking Bhima's way? Nala, Sugriva, Hanuman, Bali. Bali? Who's Bali again? Oh, Bali yeah. Sugriva's brother. Uh -huh. Hanuma! Hey, no shouting the answer. Sorry. It's okay, Doof, but just don't make sure to not do it again. Looks like there's. Ayana, that's okay. Sometimes you do it. What? <laughs> Every no. time, if you you should all of the above. you should all go with what you feel. You're competing with yourself, and then um, maybe yeah. if somebody says an answer, it may not be right. Okay, it's okay. <clears throat> all right, same same folks on the board. Midpoint. What was the name of the mountain that Bhima was climbing? Himalaya, Nilgiri, Gandhamadana, Govardhan. Govardhan? Hmm. So we mentioned Kubera's abode is on this hill. Okay. It's Gandhamadana. Okay. It's on the foothills. Uh, Himalaya is on Badrika Ashram. And if you look back here, see, um, these are the heavenly planetary systems. So we are in Bharata, um, Bharata Varsha, and there's Himalayas. Then as we 
go up, 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 there are different other heavenly planets. There's Mount Miru in the center and Ganda Madana is here. That's where we have put the circle. And that's where they were all going. And um, regular human beings can go, cannot go there. Somebody answered Govardhan. So that's in Krishna Leela, right? Okay. Next question. What did Bhima ask as a boon from Hanuman? More wealth, sorry, it's wealth, uh, weapons, more strength, blessings, and support. This one's an easier, an easier, an easier, an easier. Ah. Okay, most of you. So remember, Abhima didn't want anything special. He just wanted uh, Hanuman to support him and bless him. He said he will be um, enhance the, the fear for the enemy. Okay, Mishtiji is now in first place. Gauri Shankar closely behind. Uh, Ria Riddhi, then Ethereal. Okay. What did Kuvera do when he heard that Bhima is taking Saukandiga flowers without permission? Became angry and sad, fought with Bhima, cursed Bhima, allowed Bhima to take the flowers for Draupadi. Probably. No, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, for the, for the first time, was he angry or was he just telling his servants not to bother that, Bhima? That's too easy. Yeah. So he never cursed Bhima, even in the second time, okay? Hey, can you please click the next? Yeah, sorry we are going a little over today. It's five minutes over. Mm -hmm. But I hope you will forget. Who did Bhima kill at Kuvera's abode? Commander of Ku Kuvera, Mani Man, Kuvera's friend, Shankachuda, Kuvera's father, Wait, Ishrava, I didn't know Kuvera's, Kuvera's son, friend. Nala Kuvera. I didn't know uh, uh, Kuvera's friend was... Okay. Yeah, Shankar Judah actually got that... Um, yeah, that jewel from Kuvera. Hmm. Okay, most of you got this right. Nala Kuvera, someone got an uh, answer that that is in Krishna Leela. Remember Damodar Leela? Nala Kuvera becomes a tree. Cursed by Narada Muni. Okay, Gauri Shankar is back on top. <laughs> I hit the strike three. Why did Kuvera not curse Bhima for the repeated of? He was afraid of Bhima. His own karma was attacking him. He didn't want to spoil relationship with Pandavas. He was too lazy for a fight. <laughs> too lazy for a fight. <sighs> Okay, a few of you said he spoiled relation with Pandavas. Hmm, somewhat, if that's right. But the main reason was he remembered the curse that he got from Agastya Rishi. Okay, Gauri Shankar on top. Why did Narada Muni ask Arjuna not to exhibit his celestial weapon to the Pandavas? I, I don't think I mentioned this in class, so you got to use summoning weapons without intended use will cause destruction. Didn't want Arjuna to show off his military might, wanted to keep celestial weapons as a surprise, wanted to keep Arjuna's skills a secret. So this is when, yeah, looks like most of you got that right. Um, yeah, Arjuna was going to hey, show Yudhishthira hey, hey. all that's, the weapons. That's something that you didn't teach us yet. Yeah, but most, most of you got it, so that's good. Okay, and we have a new first place, Nitin. Then Rhea, Ruby, Gauri Shankar, Mishtiji, and Ethereal-ji. Okay, why was Bhima not able to free himself from the snake? 
Question. Bhima lost his strength because he was too proud. Bhima wanted to test the strength of the snake. Bhima is afraid of snake. Agastya Muni's promise that snake's prey will lose strength. Why did he make a promise to Agastya Muni? Because when he was cursed to become a snake, uh, he he had he got the power that all his uh, prey would lose their strength. So even though Bhima had 10,000 elephant strength, he lost its strength. Uh, wait, wait. Ma many of you wa uh, got the first answer, which is also almost right, right? Because he lost his strength. He was a little proud. And now he's got a combo. But the main reason is this. Okay, let's see who is on the podium. So everybody are winners. We are just to to kind of uh, encourage everyone. So Ria Riddhi, congratulations, third place. Mishti Ji is in second place. And first place goes to... Nitin! Oh, congratulations, Nitin, you came from back. And Gauri Shankar is a fourth and Mish, um, Ethereal Ji I was seventh. Okay, we'll see that now. You full report, you report. Um, so we went 10 minutes over, everybody is free to drop off, but if you want to see uh, everybody's uh, position, you can do it here right now. Okay, there were 18 players who joined and many kind of dropped off because of the network issues, I think. Um, so you guys had to rejoin a few of you. Who was, who am I? I was, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, somebody's writing that there. Okay. Oh, hi, hi is here. Yeah. Who am I? Hi, hi. Okay, oh. Nitin, Mishti Ji, Ria Riddhi Ji, Gauri Shankar, Ethereal, who, who am, am I? I? Ayana, Heman, Parrot King, Ishika, who uh, Yeah, so all of you. All of you are winners today. Congratulations. Who am I? Wait, what? Okay, Wait. thank you. Talk to you next week. Hope everybody liked the class. Sorry we went over a little bit. Who is who am I? Who is who am I? Who was who am I? Hi, hi. Who was who am I? Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for joining and giving us your you precious time. It was Thank so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guruji. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Bye-bye. Mm. Oh, me? Bye-bye. Hi, hi. Wait, wait. Hi. Groove! <laughs> okay. All right. Good job, everyone. Hare Krishna.